think as, as life in the so-called real world becomes a little more surreal, that people are looking for more and more real stuff, and there's nothing more real than a gorgeous piece of wood that has interesting grain patterns and character and its own unique charm. Jeff Olson. I'm a salvage logger and a sawyer. I deal with a number of artisans who create one-of-a-kind uh, custom furniture. Uh, a lot of them like the wide material that has uh, live edges, uh, which we also call flitch cut material, and uh, they can create amazing stuff that's really unique. And the timber industry as it exists rarely is interested in individual small properties. They want to come in with heavy equipment and take as much of the best material out as possible. And this is totally antithetical to what I like to do. I like to find the best use for every particular piece of wood that I touch. Is that a big hassle when you, br you break a blade? Minor hassle. Uh, in theory, you should wear gloves doing this. I'm so macho, I don't need them. All right, so these are the new, the new blades, huh? They're sharpened blades. These are not brand new. Uh huh. The first sharpening. We sent right back to Woodmiser, and then they sharpen them and get them right back to factory specs. And what are you working on top of here? You're working on top of your, uh, your some wood that you cut. Uh, catalpa. Uh -huh. A Asian import that came to the States several, well, I don't know how many decades ago, that has somewhat naturalized. It's a kind of tan, light, weight, fairly rot-resistant wood. It's great for, like, patio furniture and such things. <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> as long as the teeth are facing up, we're good. <laughs> Part of the group, part of the woods. 